Holy Ghost generation, God bless you, bless you. This is Idikai Mary. Oh, Father, we thank you for another day. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Now, I'm going to read to you from Matthew chapter 1, verse 17. And we're going to talk about covenant connection. Now, let's see. Matthew chapter 1, verse 17. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations. And from David to the carrying away to Babylon are 14 generations. And from the carrying away to Babylon unto Christ are 14 generations. And from the carrying away to Babylon unto Christ are 14 generations. Hallelujah. Are you connected with God in a covenant? Do you believe in covenants? I have lived long enough to know that when you stay in the pack with God, the blazing is released. When you stay in the covenant that God has made and link you in and connect you, every good things begin to happen. Stay in the covenant. Abraham stayed in the covenant. David stayed in the covenant. Jesus became the ultimate covenant for us. He stayed in the covenant. The Bible said, for the joy that was set before him, he went to the cross. He endured the cross. He despised the shame and now is seated at the right hand of God the Father. God is very interested in when he speaks, he keeps his word. God never disappoints anybody. When God released the Holy Spirit to us, He did it because Jesus said so. He's already prophesied in the book of Jewel. He said He's going to pour His Spirit upon all flesh. He said, Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your young men shall see vision, your elderly ones shall dream dreams. Hallelujah. God always keep his path of the covenant. When he made a covenant with Abraham, he kept it. When he made a covenant with David, he kept it. When he made a covenant with us in Christ, he has been keeping it. All he wants is this. Come and enter into this safe place. A covenant is a safe place. A covenant is a place of rest whereby you operate in the higher plane with God. It is that place where when you enter and you begin to be obedient with God, beautiful things begin to emerge out of your life and into your life. Hallelujah. A covenant is obeying the instruction of uh, obeying the commands of God and following the instructions of God. What happens is this heaven begins to honor the word that he has spoken, and the word he has spoken begins to take effect in your life. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Today, I want you to make this confession with me. Because we want to release into you. We want to release power. We want to release beautiful things into your life. Hallelujah. So say with me. Or repeat after me. My covenant with Jehovah is forever. 
My covenant with Jehovah is forever. I live in increase. My covenant with Jehovah is forever. And I live in increase. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you have a covenantal connection. Your life is a life of continuous, unstoppable increase. Amen. And I will see you next time in the Holy Ghost connection. And remember, you cannot excel in life without the Holy Spirit. Don't take this as a joke. This is serious business with God. Amen. I'll see you soon. And this is Idikai Mary saying, Jesus Christ is King. Hallelujah.